Hello and welcome to Build On Ideas Institute of Designing and in this video it's a small comparison between 3D Max and Blender 2.8. So when we compare uh, Blender and uh, 3D Max both these softwares can be used very much for architectural visualization as well as some other 3D modeling uh, requirements. But basically these softwares are having precision modeling tools available in the software. So both these softwares can be used interchangeably as well as you can uh, easily migrate from uh, Blender to 3D Max as well as from 3D Max to Blender. The main advantages of uh, using Blender is that it is a free and open source software when compared to 3D Max which is a paid software and uh, the cost of uh, buying a 3D Max original software is very high when compared to other softwares available in the market. So when you see the interface of Blender as well as 3D Max you can see that most of the tools available in 3D Max as well as Blender are very similar and if you consider the formats available in 3D Max as well as Blender you can easily import these files from uh, 3D Max to Blender as well as from Blender to 3D Max. So it can be used interchangeably and uh, it's very easy to uh, go to the workflow. Now coming to the interface if you see how what is the interface and what is the difference in using the Blender as well as 3D Max. So when you open 3D Max you get a workspace of this kind the viewport we have uh, four uh, quadrants which is having a top front left and the perspective view but when you open blender you get a default view of this kind with a single viewport and you have a cube in the center you have a light here and a camera on the left this is the default uh, layout in which uh, blender comes and this is the layout in which uh, 3d max come but you can make this interface into a full uh, single viewport by clicking alt w and you get a single viewport in uh, 3d max uh, in if you want a four quadrant interface in blender it's quite easy by clicking on ctrl alt and q you get four quadrants and then you can work similar to uh, what you call uh, 3d max so that is the interface of blender and 3d max so this is alt w and this is alt ctrl and q so hold control Q it can toggle between uh, the single quadrant and uh, uh, single viewport as well as uh, four quadrant viewports alt control and Q now this is alt W you can interchange between these uh, formats by clicking on alt W in 3d max so that is the main difference or similarity between blender and uh, uh, 3d max interface in the first look now coming to the move, rotate and scale that is the transformations which are available in Blender as well as 3D Max. So what you have to do is like click on the object and then click on G and then to get a constraint you have to just click on Y to get Y direction and then X to get an X direction or Z to get the C direction. So this is the kind of uh, movement which we have in Blender. But when you consider uh, an object in uh, 3D Max what you can see here is a box and then you have to uh, if you want to move this object in 3d max what you have to do is like this is the move rotate and scale uh, tools available in 3d max and you can uh, click on w e and r to access these uh, shortcuts for uh, w for move r for rotate and s for scale that is the kind of uh, interface which we use in 3d max so w and then click on this direction red color for x direction Y color for Y direction and Z color for Z direction, uh, blue color for Z direction. So if you want to move, you can move it like this and uh, on the top you can move it like this. So uh, this is very much possible in 3D Max as well as Blender. So the, there are very similarity. The same way you can use this software uh, in Blender, you can use these three um, tools to, to have the movement in these directions. So you have uh, the green color as y direction the red color as x direction and if you want the c direction you click on this move uh, the the blue color and then move in the c direction so you can see the interface is very much similar in movement uh, the similar way if you click on r in blender you have the rotation also if you want to uh, rotate and using the toolbox uh, you can use this tool for uh, rotate and then you have this simple which is very much similar to the rotate in 3d max so you can see the similarity uh, it is like if you click on the red and then move it is moving in the z, uh, x direction uh, the green is in y direction and uh, blue in blue blue in z direction 
so that is the rotation and then if you want to see in blender you can see this green is the y direction and then uh, this is the x direction and this is the c direction so it is very much similar in rotation as well now coming to the uh, scale tool if you click on scale and then select this you have the same kind of gizmo in scale for this one as well as this one now you can uh, scale it by clicking on this by proportionally and here also you can do the same thing uh, if you click outside and then if you drag it you scale it proportionally if you want it in y direction just click on here and then scale it like this x in this way and c in a blue color so that is the way if you see uh, you can move rotate and scale so you have very much similar uh, properties available or the same uh, similar kind of shortcuts available for move rotate and scale the only difference in using the uh, these three that is uh, move rotate and scale in blender as well as 3d max is that you have to uh, use different shortcuts that is for in 3d max it is w e and r for move rotate and scale respectively but in blender it is g r and scale for grab rotate and scale so instead of move we use grab in blender uh, we have if you want to zoom in this viewport of blender you have to just click on the uh, center mouse button and then scroll it so that you have this zoom option it is also available by uh, clicking on the control button and then clicking on the center uh, mouse button and then uh, simply dragging it the same thing is available in uh, 3d max as well by clicking and dragging in this direction now if you want to uh, pan the uh, interface uh, viewport pan in the viewport you just have to click the shift and then the middle mouse button and move you have you have the pan available in blender the same thing is available in uh, 3d max by clicking on the middle mouse button and simply dragging so uh, if you want to uh, rotate the 3d uh, view of uh, blender you have to simply click the center mouse button and then just move you have uh, the rotation but in case of uh, 3d max you have to click on alt button and then the middle mouse button it, it is available for the rotation so orbiting is possible by clicking on the alt button and middle mouse button in 3d max whereas in blender it is simply the middle mouse button and orbiting the main reason why uh, 3d max and blender is being used for architectural designing or interior designing is uh, just because there is a precision modeling available in this so if you see uh, there are property panels and the command panels available in um, blender as well as 3d max so in this we have all the properties of an object and here also you have the properties of this object if you click on this and go to the modify button you have the properties available in 3d max uh, to, in order to change the dimension of this and this in in blender it is possible in n and then if you change this dimension in our which is available in the properties which pops up by clicking on the alphabet n and then if you want to change the 200 to 300 just click here and do it as 300 so here also if you give 500 it is coming to 500 here if you want to make it as 450 we can make it as 450 the same thing is available in 3d max as well if you click on this box and then if you want to change the direct dimension of this uh, in the modify properties you come here and then you just change whatever is required so if you want to make it as 300 just make it 300 if you want to make it 500 just make it as 500 and if you want to make it this as 450 just make it as 450 so it is available coming to editing an object in blender as well as uh, 3d max you click on this object and then if you want to edit this object you have to go to the edit mode so different modes are available in the uh, tab key and if you click on the tab you have the edit mode available just click on tab to come to uh, selection different selections so if you click on one it goes to the vertex mode if you click on two it goes to the edge mode and if you click on three it goes to the face mode so the selection is if you click on vertices and then select you can select the vertices and for multiple selection you have to click shift and select the multiple vertices now coming to the edges click on two you go to the edge mode and then you can select by clicking on the shift and uh, holding the shift you can select multiple uh, selections in uh, in blender um, so if you come to the face by clicking on three uh, three is the shortcut for uh, selecting the face and face mode and then clicking on the shift you can select multiple uh, faces now coming to the 3d max in order to have this edit you just convert this by clicking on here and convert to edit poly 
you get all these options which are available on in the same functions that is one for vertex two for edges and uh, four for uh, selecting the poly so if you click on one and then select this vertex you can select the multiple vertices by clicking on control and then clicking on multiple vertices you can select now if you want to select multiple edges you have to select two and then you go to the edges mode and then select control select you can select multiple edges so this is available and this is very similar to blender as well now coming to four uh, in in selecting faces in blender it is three and in uh, uh, what do you call 3d max it is four so select four and then if you select the faces by clicking on control you can select multiple faces so that is the similarity in uh, blender as well as 3d max in in case of editing now in order to give the extrude or uh, to change the deformations in uh, in blender as well as 3d max if you see you have a box here in about this if you see like this it is very similar now if you want to extrude this face select this face and click on e you have an additional face here and if you select this and then if you click and drag you have additional faces available in blender the similar function is available here in 3d max by clicking on this face and then if you click on e nothing happens it goes into the rotate uh, mode but if you want to extrude this face you just have to come here in this tool in the modify uh, command panel and then you just select this extrude uh, and then you have the dimensions available so i'm just clicking f4 to see the vertices uh, and the faces uh, you can see the faces available now click on the stick and then again if you want to have another extrude you can click here and then have it so it's more easier in blender you can see that uh, the extrude function is very easy in blender so there are very similar uh, functions and properties available in blender for uh, doing the precision modeling so uh, if you want to create a plan and then uh, extrude a plan in 3d max and as well as in blender it's very easy i'm just importing a model a plan into blender as well as uh, into uh, 3d max so when you come to blender first uh, come to the scenes you can see what are the units which are available here so you come to the metric here and then in the scene there are a lot of tools available out here in this you come to the scenes and then you find the units out here you make it as metric and in length i have made it as centimeters similar thing is available in max as well uh, by going into um, into customize and then you have the unit set about here so it is available i just drag it here uh, in customize and then you come to unit setup you have the units here so come to metrics and then make it as centimeters this is how it is done in 3d max i'm just dragging it again uh, so when you come to uh, the precision modeling it is very important to make sure that it is in uh, the correct units importing as autocad.dxf and i'm importing this when importing we have to make sure that units is in this uh, by default it is in meters i'm just converting it as uh, 0 0.01 that is in centimeters and then i am importing it now you have uh, the plan available in centimeters out here the same way if you are importing it into this now you have to make sure that importing and then i'm importing this plan when you click on here you have this centimeters available and then rescale so incoming file unit is centimeters and then you are clicking on the rescale to have the right uh, units so you have you can see in blender it is um, available as centimeters and in uh, 3d max also it is available as centimeters so this is the basic interface and then when you when you start modeling it is very easy in 3d max as well as in uh, blender so in blender what you do is like uh, you just click on add and then in mesh you start modeling by clicking on uh, single vertex you have it in the near the 3d cursor i'm just moving it by clicking on uh, the vertex mode and then i'm just moving it to this point so in order to have the snapping option available what you do is like you just have to uh, click on the snap option and then make it as vertex and then just simply grab this to this point and then click on e the sub function to have the extrude and then uh, start extruding so you have uh, the lines available now click on f by clicking on a and then f 
and then you can uh, have an insert and then you click on 20 to have uh, the output the outline and then what you do is like just select this face delete the face and then so by having this uh, what you do is like you extrude by 300 so you have a wall in blender which is very much uh, in dimension uh, coming to the 3d max to in order to uh, have the lines available just go to the modify command panel uh, i mean uh, the line find the lines uh, shape shapes available in command panel come to the line and then start drawing by having the snap on and then click and then start drawing it here and you have it and what to do is like in order to have uh, thickness just click on the splines and then uh, select this line have an outline of 20 centimeters and then what to do is like you extrude from the properties so you give 300 here and you have it as 300 so that's how uh, we start uh, doing the modeling in a blender so likewise you can it's very easy for you to do this uh, editing and transformations and uh, zooming panning everything is quite similar in 3d max as well as in blender so try using uh, both softwares together if you want to save some money you can come into blender and use a free and open source software and if you are okay with the original soft buying original software in 3d max it's a good software can be used for 3d modeling and architecture visualization so blender and 3, uh, 3d max can go hand by hand and then you can use it interchangeably and the formats are also very much supporting to each other uh, only difference is like blender is a free and open source software so you can use it free of cost commercially as well in 3d max you have to pay something uh, some big amounts for buying the software so the original software now one thing i would like to tell you is like using pirated software is very uh, is a crime and you should not use that so avoid using pirated software buy original software like 3d max which are paid software and if you want a, three, a free software which can be used commercially use blender 2.8 so architecture visualization is very much possible in Blender as well as 3D Max. So compare, uh, compare these two and then find which, is soft, which software is suiting your requirements and then use it accordingly. All the best.